One of the key elements to any bioactive enclosure is the cleanup crew of isopods and springtails. However, we know that these guys can actually be surprisingly pricey. In this box, I have my colony of isopods and springtails that I've been able to successfully breed. And today, I'll be showing you guys how I did it so you can form your own colonies and save tons of money. What's up everyone thank you so much for tuning in to today's video if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button because i have a ton of video ideas for 2023 that i don't think you guys are going to want to miss um the colony i showed you guys earlier is already well established so i'll actually be starting a new colony today from scratch just so you guys can see the whole process but anyways without further ado let's get straight into the video these are the isopods that I'll be using. These are uh, powder orange and it was a pack of 20 of them. The first thing you're going to want to do is obviously create the substrate. I'm using uh, Reptis oil, which is basically just uh, soil, sphagnum moss and sand. You're gonna to wanna to spray it and then mix it around. You really want that soil to be nice and moist. Afterwards, you can add things um, like logs or branches. Um, I'm using cork bark, which I just picked up from outside. And you don't have to sanitize any of the things from that you get from outside for isopods because they'll, they'll eat whatever's on it. They'll eat the actual wood too. Same with uh, the leaves that I'm adding now. I'm also adding some uh, banana pieces in here. Uh, they'll eat the fruit and they'll especially eat it, especially when it starts to uh, kind of rot, I guess, or mold. They, they love that. Like these guys will eat everything. Everything you see in, in this little tub, they will eat. All right, now it's finally time to add these guys in. Yeah guys, it's really that simple. You just have to make sure you keep the, the soil wet. That's why I'm damping it again. And then once you close it, uh, you're gonna wanna put this somewhere kind of warmish, maybe next to a window or on top of an enclosure. And yeah, that's it. This is a, a different isopod that was in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. He's like so much bigger than the rest and he had uh, crazy colors. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, if you have not already done so, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy your reptiles.